numbers! Welcome, Buccaneers, to the Pixel Pirate Plays. This is your host, Pixel Pirate, and today we're taking a look at a game called Gimbal. Gimbal is created by 888888labs. That's the developer. <laughs> Uh, you can pick it up on their website. It is currently on Steam Greenlight. The price for the game is $14.99 on their website. And they have a free demo, which is good. Uh, basically, Gimbal is a spaceship shoot 'em up I, I have been doing a lot of these lately. I don't know, there's just been a, a heap of these kind of games that people have been uh, developing. So, I, I say bring it on. <laughs> there's been a... Uh, a drought of these kind of games, I think. Anyway, this game is similar to one I did uh, last week, which was... I've forgotten the name now. I'm going to have to look in my diary. Goodness me. How unprofessional. Ring Runner. It's very similar to Ring Runner um, in its format. So let's have a look at the settings. Alright, you got your resolution or your other stuff. Uh, you can change full screen and under, as well. Then you've got advanced settings. So you've got your vertical, vertical sync and uh, some other graphical stuff that you can turn on or off like motion blur. Uh, then your, uh, I think these are, yeah, just basically all your keys. So you can't, ch it doesn't look like you can actually change your movement keys uh, or your shooting keys which is a bit strange but anyway so that's the settings uh, let's have a look at our ship we can uh, choose different kinds of ships we can design our own ships if we so desire oh that one's nice uh, I don't have enough money though so <laughs> the the prices are in trillions of dollars <laughs> which I think is quite hilarious uh, so I really want that one that one looks pretty cool Oh well. Let's uh let's go with that one. So next okay, so you can edit the design and you can do a test flight with your design, which is pretty cool. So let's have a look at the edited design. It automatically creates a copy of the ship for you, just in case you bugger it all up. Uh there is chips. You can add chips and um there's weapons and stuff like that. So I can, for example, I can take that off and maybe put it here instead or do whatever I like. And then I think, once I place it, uh, there's some way to m move it around, I think. Um, but anyway, uh, this is a big part of the game. So you need to know sort of what you're doing, really, if you're gonna play competitively. You can uh, snap to grid as well, or you can uh, also do mirror placement. So you can have uh, two. So for example, I want to put one here that isn't there previously. That would probably put one there as well. So that's how that works. Yeah. Um, and then you can do a test flight. So we can run around, shoot stuff. I think my engines are a bit off because <laughs> I moved them around so I'm not actually uh, moving as well as I could be. <laughs> that, uh, that's uh, what I'm talking about though, when you actually design the ship you do have to be careful because where you position things does matter and I'm getting shot at. Oh god. Let's have a look what's shooting at me. If I can ever get there. Yikes. It's probably just a container. Uh, and I'm, f I'm on fire. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Come on, shoot me. 16%. Anyway, that is the test flight. So things shoot at you, you can test out all your stuff, like your weapons and whatever else. And uh, yeah, that's how you create ships. So we'll go for done. Uh, yes, we want to leave. We don't want to save because that was an awful design. And you can choose your pilot, your pilot name. We'll of course put the pixel pirate. There we go. And you can choose whether you're male or not. And you have a random generator for the name as well. So that's pretty cool. 
Uh, you do go up in levels, it seems. Uh, so, for example, uh, if I edit the design here, yes, yes, thank you. Uh, these are actually restricted, so I have to level up to get them, I believe. Get out of there. So that's my current ship. And uh, yeah, so you can host a game or you can just go and jump into a server. We're going to jump into a server. It's got 40 people in it out of 64. <laughs> yes, that's right. So this is going to be mayhem if I can get in there. Hopefully I can. My ping is a little bit high. Uh, it looks like we can get in there quite easily. And here we are. Okay. Terra Guild or Cult of Row? <laughs> uh, let's just join that one. Alright, here I am. You can zoom in and out. Okay, I think I'm approaching. Yep, here we go. Okay, here we are. Uh, you can even go into sniper mode, which is sort of a map. Oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. It seems that your team has uh, your, your engine color, the the color of the engine uh, stream. Actually, oh damn it! I caught up to him. Where is he? There he is. Oh, we'll hit him! Ah, oh. ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So the enemy has different colored uh, engine flame so uh, that's nice and easy to remember oh god I'm gonna collide with that that was lucky Ooh, a carrier goodness that's a big ship oh don't want to uh, actually shoot my teammates that's not clever oh <laughs> hit by that carrier didn't realize that was an enemy I probably should have you can see on the side here it's uh, where everyone is so All right, I'll zoom right out I should probably stick with my teammates here Carriers. He's getting hammered though. <laughs> okay. Alright, all these keys are very annoying, so we're just going to press all the keys and get rid of the damn silly thing. Alright, F5. Close brackets. Open brackets, tab key, and suicide. <laughs> there we go. All right, that's a clearer screen there. It's a bit, it's it's helpful and it's not because you're not going to use all the keys straight away, are you? So, uh, oh god, let's go for a fly. I'll just scroll in a bit. The, the ship sprites I'm not overly impressed with. I think they probably could have done a much better job with that. It really lets, lets it down overall. I mean, if you look at the background, that looks excellent. And then you look at your ship and it looks like someone drew it. So, yeah. I think the, the ship art could be much, much better. All right, but we're way, way out of uh, the scope of the actual fight, so let's get back into it. La, 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 la. So it seems that it is multiplayer only. Oh god, now I'm straight back in, in it. Hopefully I don't die. Yeah. There is certainly a lot of action. That's for sure. Objective achieved. Oh, got 20 trillion. Oh. <laughs> 
I just collided with an enemy. <laughs> That's one way to get rid of him. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's stick with our, our uh, teammates here this time. Fight. Yay! I actually killed someone. Try not to collide with anybody. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. My carrier just hit me, I think. And yep, yeah, I got killed by their carrier. So it seems you have to defend your carrier and try and attack theirs. It, it is fun gameplay. Uh, I um, As I said, I was playing Ring, Ring Runner last week. Check that video out if you haven't already. Um, I think that possibly Ring Runner is maybe a better game, but because this has multiplayer already, it's already got huge amounts of replayability. Uh, so I think once Ring Runner gets... Oh, God. Yeah, there was a whole, a whole bunch of guys up there. <laughs> Oh, I think once Ring Runner gets, um, you know, its own multiplayer, it, it could possibly blow this game out of the water. Um, but, I, I don't know, I, I just think the camera, the way the camera works in Ring Runner is way better. And also the graphics are much better, as far as ships go and things like that. And I think it has much more interesting weapons as well. Although, having said that, I like the collision mechanics in this game. When you collide with stuff in Ring Runner, you basically just bounce off it. So, God. however, yeah. Having said that, I think the <laughs> just going for this carrier here, suicide mission. <laughs> uh, I think that the the weapons are so much more interesting in Ring Runner. Uh, of course, I haven't seen every weapon in this game yet, but. Still, uh, even off the off the bat with uh, Ring Runner, you're getting uh, very interesting weapons already. So, hmm, I don't know. It's it, it might be uh, twelve of one and half a dozen of the other, so to speak. <laughs> I'm just not getting any luck at all. <laughs> <laughs> Their uh, website though it does have a forum, so you can go and check that out and get some uh, some much needed strategies. Obviously, don't get any strategies from me because I'm awful. <laughs> I think. Oh dear. Oh, okay, so you can re repair and supply. Oh, that's interesting. Right. Have to remember that. Please don't kill me. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, you probably shouldn't go but <laughs> go towards the enemy carrier if you don't want to die. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of the pull of this game is actually designing the ships. The the physics mechanics of each ship in this game, I think, are possibly a slightly more detailed than Ring Runner. Oh, goodness me. That was a loud explosion. Yeah, so, so the, the, the actual physics mechanics, you know, it's important where you put your engines and things like that in this game, whereas it's not as important, I feel, in Ring Runner, so... Oh, bit of lag there. Alrighty. 
I wonder if the carrier is automated or not. I'm not actually sure about that. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Bit of a team killing there. Oh, de oh no. <laughs> I really stuck it into that guy, goodness. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so even though there are a lot of people playing, uh, it seems that... I don't know. I could be wrong. It could change when I get different guns or different ships. But it seems that the combat is pretty... Um, somewhat shallow. In that... Uh, the only the only skill is actually navigating the ship. You, you, you're either you're just shooting missiles or you're shooting... Um, you know... Uh, uh, machine guns and yeah that's that's about it uh, like I said I think ring runner has has uh, the, the weapons on its side that's for sure oh god that's that guy I killed before let's see if we can't kill him again ah oh. Damn it. Anyway, that is uh, the long short of Gimbal. So let's go back to the... Uh... Ah, you can change your ship on the fly. That's pretty handy. All right, let's disconnect and go back. So, yes, the game is on green light. So uh, if you like this style of game, please go and vote for it. Uh, if you buy the game, you will get a Steam key if it uh, passes green light. Uh, so thanks everyone for watching and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and we'll see you next time. Shiver me timbers!